Luton Wolves now Luton obviously I've got them down as being no points throughout the whole season or a very very low total I do fancy that they're live in this game though Luton plus 230 Wolves plus 115 the draw is at plus 250 but the over two and a half goals is near enough plus 100 it's minus 102 Wolves could win this 3-0 3-1 on their own Luton could score twice Luton to score twice in this game Brad is plus 209 this is We're a game <laughs> I think could be end to end, and I couldn't tell you who wins it. Yeah, I think it's funny because like we're asking a team to score twice who hasn't scored twice, but they could definitely do it at home. That price I think is a little, you know. Let me back up. We talk about uh, overlay situation in, in, in soccer. That's why we don't really care as much when we see line movement because a lot of really good soccer handicappers like to bet overlays. That would be an overlay situation for me where if they were to score twice, um, it would be in this situation. It would be against a Wolves team who defensively have their issues. Uh, I'd say weak in central defense, a little chaotic, a little don't play, don't keep their shape often. Um, so the price could be an overlay. One bet that I was actually going to think about going uh, and attacking, I ended up backing off, um, was both teams to score in the second half. It's plus 220. Um, Wolves so far have seen 14 second half goals through five matches. And it just feels like one of those matches where Luton might go to the first half without scoring. But if you were to tell me that Wolves away were to keep a clean sheet for 45 minutes, I would tell you that the dam is is ready to break. It, it, it's ready for a goal's coming. And that's kind of what led me to that. But I end up backing away. I, I just, I don't know if it's me, like, kind of hedging my happiness with, I bet Luton to finish bottom, or I'm just kind of tired of, of putting hard-earned money on this team to perform and, and meet any kind of expectation. But I ultimately passed on this game. Uh, I think Luton come out the traps, Marco, here. But I also think that Wolves could pick them off. Um Remember, let's just go back to Luton hosting West Ham. Luton gave it a great shot. They were com oh, yeah. combative in midfield. They put the ball in the box. Uh, and West Ham then picked them off. I feel Wolves could do the same. This could be 2-1 at half-time. I just think the over 2.5 at minus 102 should really be minus 115. Yeah, I'm not sure I would back um, a goals-based game. I'll, I'll get to that. But what I want to do say is... is uh, it's easy to dismiss Luton, and I've seen a lot of sort of derogatory stuff in the press over here in this past week, and even on social media as well, saying like Luton don't even deserve to be in the Premier League, which is so disrespectful uh, because they've had a really tough start. The schedule has not been kind, but they have shown definite improvements. And as long as you look beyond the results, which I know not many people do when they make these assumptions, there's clear signs that Fulham are, are trending in the right direction because in the first two games, they faced 46 shots. In the last two games, they faced 22 shots. In the first two games, they gave up an XG of 6.28. In the last two games, it's 1.99. They've also allowed exactly half the number of touches in their own penalty area as they did in the first two fixtures, as they have in the last two fixtures. So clearly there's now a foundation and a footing, a base to work from. The issue they have is in attack, where they've been anything but clinical. And against Fulham, we saw that. They missed three presentable chances. Overall, they've had more shots than any other promoted club so far this season. They've also engineered shots from good areas of the field. Um, only five teams have averaged shots closer to the goal than Luton but their conversion rate is so poor just two goals from 42 shots only 14% of their overall efforts have been on target and as a kind of comparison the league average there is 38% so you know I think there is optimism that they can be competitive but they do need to sort of improve in the final third and that's what would kind of worry me about a goals based bet here is I think they are proving to improving defensively they're doing plenty in forward areas but they just can't put the ball in the back of the net consistently um, saying that, I would fancy them with the plus start here, you know, the pick and plus uh, half a goal, which is a, the plus quarter goal start. Uh, I think they can get a result here because Wolves have very similar issues, don't they? Um, yeah. In the build-up to, to last week's match against Liverpool, Gary O'Neill said he's very frustrated about their inability to, to finish their chances. What did we see in the first half? An incredibly good Wolves performance against Liverpool absolutely dominated them. But how, what do they have to show for it? Just one goal. Um, 
you know, they missed countless opportunities. They lacked composure in key areas. But what they did have is a, a tenacity about their midfield. I really like the look of uh, Belagarde. Um, Pedro Nieto, the creator, looked really good. Huang, again, was a presence. Cunha, when he's in the mood, can be brilliant, but it depends on his mood in the day. Uh, but again, you know, you've got silly errors creeping in defensively and they've missed chances going forward. So I think there are very quite a few similarities between these two teams. Um, what could and should have been three points against Liverpool ends up with nothing. They've now lost four or five, and their away record is wretched. They've won four of the last 29 away Premier League games. So this feels like it could be a bit of a scrappy battle, actually. And um, I wondered whether the sort of low-scoring draw might come into play. Um, maybe a draw and under two and a half goals would kind of bolster that draw price from plus 250 to, to more like plus 300 or bigger. So uh, purely because I can't trust either team to score, <laughs> um, I thought maybe unders might be a shout or the Luton plus a quarter goal start. Um, Wolves have actually only scored two goals or more in three away Premier League games since the start of last season. I know Luton are a level below the majority of those opponents, but I think there are green shoots here. And, and one thing I would say is, on the promoted teams, results-wise, they've been horrendous. Uh, Burnley, Luton, Sheffield United. But they're not going to lose every week. None of, all three teams aren't going to end the season on zero points. They will win at some point. They will pick up a couple of points here and there against teams who you might be surprised against. I'm not sure, but I think it's quite easy to look at this game. Our oh, Wolves win because Luton have lost you know, all their games so far. And well, There's more to it than Luton. I think they are improving. I'm not going to say they're Premier League level at all, but uh, I think there can be a bit of a headache to Wolves this weekend. 100%. I think that both these sides, they turn up for this game thinking that three points are definitely on the table. It's up to you to then go and grab it. I can see Wolves part like picking Luton off when Luton are in possession and it breaks down and the next minute it's in Luton, the back of Luton's net. I can see Luton overpowering them by just keep bombarding that box, getting bodies in and around the area. Um, I, I think Luton may score twice here, uh, plus 209, but maybe that's still not good enough to actually go and win the game because Wolves and Luton turn up here and the way that their styles are, that they're going to get chances if they believe and they're not worried. Because I think there might be a little bit of complacency about Wolves thinking, oh, we're, as you say, we're going to Luton. But Luton are like, hang on a minute, Every, they're letting in threes and fours. This is our opportunity to get our season underway. And I've been in a promoted side before where you think, OK, let's get the first three, four games under our belt. And they've been impressive, Luton, without actually picking up points or scoring goals. They went to Chelsea. Now, we know that Chelsea as a club are on the treatment table, but it's still Chelsea away. They went there with no fear. Um, and, and the reason and the way they played against Chelsea, I think, helped Nottingham Forest go there and get a result because they went, hang on a minute, this is the way to play against them. But obviously they need to score. We've got a mixed bag in the chat because we've got John Ho saying, yeah, I think this could be uh, a draw. We've got Mitch saying maybe a high-scoring draw or a both teams to score draw. I don't think Luton get beat, so it's a double chance. Wolves win this. So listen, you pay your money, you take your chance. Let's have a little look at the official picks. I've gone with the over two and a half at minus 102 because I think both could contribute here, but also Wolves could go and win three, um, which, is a, which is a strange thing to say because I don't think Luton get beat. So yeah, a bit, bit scrambled.